Thou shalt not bootleg ban merch. It's like the Eighth Commandment or something. Well, apparently, this uh, Christian uh, outlet here did not get the memo. Mark Morton comments on Christian online stores selling Lamb of God mug. Um, he, <laughs> just get right to the comment. He says, I ain't mad at Jesus, but y'all can't be out here bootlegging my shit. <laughs> It's it's great. I guess, you know, uh, it was only a matter of time, right? Uh, now, this has been seen uh, for other oh, like churches, like mistakenly using Lamb of God um, stuff. Now, uh, you know, when you use the term Lamb of God, these things are, are bound to happen, I guess. But... Um, uh, you know, uh, confusion anyway, but when you're actually taking brands and, uh, you know, uh, selling it on your, as a, look, Lamb of God, we, we know Lamb of God is not a Christian metal band and they, there wouldn't be a problem if they were, that they were, but they're not. So, uh, you know, you, you can't even, be in that realm like oh well they're a christian but no they're they're not so being able to even um mistakenly do this it it, it doesn't make sense because you're bootlegging a band's merch and they're a pretty popular band <sighs> um now um like they say in uh loudwire they say uh, it's not the first time um, a religious group has confused the band logo of Lamb of God for a more respectful, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but re uh, representation of Jesus of Nazareth. Uh, Lamb of God, a uh, Christian theology term, is another name for the first century Jewish preacher, um, you know, we know as Jesus Christ. Uh, but um, the Lamb of God band is not uh, a Christian band. And uh, they, uh, they go on to, you know, the quote him uh, tweeting now, metal addicts were the ones that, that found this. Um, uh, now, uh, it says, uh, currently, uh, the Lone Product Review <laughs> on the Lamb of God mug page, uh, points out the irony great mug showing the ashes of the <laughs> wake album cover of the secular heavy metal band lamb of god the review writes awesome my favorite band <laughs> great man and you know you gotta love it though that uh lamb of god fans are going in there and they're like yeah we'll uh <laughs> We'll write this ship. <laughs> um, eight years ago, uh, a group of churches um, in the band's home state of Virginia used the Lamb of God logo to promote their Easter services. <laughs> um, a similar uh, paradoxical uh, stories from uh, Lamb of God fans have uh, cropped up on Reddit. Um, po popped up on Reddit. Um Lamb of God uh, are on tour right now. Uh, you can go uh, get tickets and stuff, but um, don't don't be shopping for their merch on uh, Christian <laughs> church outlets because that's not them selling it. And and look, um, no matter what the what the deal is, you're even if Lamb of God was a Christian band, you don't have the right to sell their their logos and their stuff uh, it doesn't even make sense in that area so uh this straight up is is stealing so good job <laughs> so so dumb i mean come on and you know it, it's not gonna they have a big fan base this is going to get spotted. And also, 
you know, there are people that are, you know, in the Christian faith and, you know, are fans of Lamb of God and are, you know. So these circles intertwine and you're going to get called out for stealing other people's shit. So don't do it. Thou shalt not bootleg band merch. It's the Eighth Commandment. Look it up. Send the memos out to all the other Christian church places and outlets that want to do this. Now, don't go, you know, uh, hassling them or whatever. But uh, hopefully they, they get all this corrected. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but <laughs> uh, just a funny way, man. It's, well, it's a funny thing, ain't it? <laughs> Good stuff. I hope everybody out there is having a great day. We'll, uh, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>